In this lesson, I'm gonna walk you through how to add Bitcoin Cash to your Mining Core mining pool list. In previous lessons, we've covered how to set up Mining Core, how to add Digibyte, how to add Bitcoin. And today we're gonna to add Bitcoin Cash, which is one of the more popular coins to solo mine, uh, mainly because of its block reward. It's got a lot lower difficulty than Bitcoin. And so it's easier to obtain, but it still has a significant block reward. Uh, if you compare it to fiat dollars. So uh, it's gonna be very similar to how we set up Bitcoin. So we're gonna start off with a uh, sudo mkdir slash data slash dot bch. And again, I'm running this all on the same system that I have used in the previous videos. And then we need to create our config file. So we're gonna do sudo nano slash data slash dot bch slash. Now this is one of the parts where Bitcoin Cash really is a true fork of Bitcoin, including all the core code. So the config file is even called bitcoin.conf. So if you remember from Bitcoin video, identical file name, it's very important that you put this in its own folder. And config file is going to be very similar to what we did for Bitcoin. So we're going to do server equals one. We're going to do port equals uh, 6335 here. So if you remember on Bitcoin, we did port equals 7335. So I'm going to do 6335 here. It can pretty much be any, not, any unused port that you want. Uh, just for consistency, I typically, you know, set Bitcoin and then each direct fork of Bitcoin, I'll step down a number. So we're doing 6335 here. And then we're gonna do RPC port of 9003. So if you remember, we did 9001 for Digibyte, 9002 for Bitcoin. So we're gonna do 9003 for Bitcoin Cash. Then we're gonna do RPC user equals pool user. And then RPC password equals pool password. Again, always recommend doing a random password generator with some uh, strong parameters. But for this video, we're just gonna keep it simple. Then we're gonna do prune equals 550. And if you remember with Bitcoin and Digibyte, we had to create a wallet. We don't have to do that here. So we can leave that blank. We're gonna do control X, Y, enter to save. And now we're ready to start up the Docker container. So we're gonna do sudo docker run dash d dash dash network host dash dash restart always dash dash log hyphen opt space max hyphen size equals 10 m dash dash name we're going to just call this bch dash v now our volume mapping we're going to do slash data slash dot bch but we need to map that to slash root slash dot bitcoin Again, this all stems from Bitcoin Cash really being a true direct fork of Bitcoin code base. And then space, and we're gonna do the retro mic slash nodes, colon Bitcoin Cash. Go ahead and hit enter. This is gonna download the image and start up the container. Okay, it started up. So now we can do a sudo docker logs bch and we can see it's starting up and if we hop on over to our web browser and go to the ip colon 8080 to bring up dozzle we can see we've got bch here now we click on here and we can see that it is uh, starting to load the dns seed and it should start syncing here in a minute You can see it's establishing peers and it's syncing the headers. So once again, this may take a while. In fact, this will take a while to sync, but we do have pruning enabled. So it's going to not use a whole lot of storage on the system. Now that that is syncing away, we're gonna hop back over and we're going to uh, do the wallet generation. So one of the things that is a little bit different with uh, Bitcoin Cash. So if we do a sudo docker exec bch, Bitcoin CLI space get balance. 
you'll notice we get a balance immediately of 0, 0.00. We don't get the error saying there's no wallet loaded. And that is because Bitcoin Cash auto loads the default wallet for you. So you don't have to create a wallet or anything like that. So all we have to do is create our wallet address. So to do that, we're gonna do uh, sudo docker exec bch space bitcoin hyphen cli. We're gonna do get new address. Now, when we were doing Bitcoin and Digibyte, we had to specify an address type of legacy. You don't do that here. So you just type get new address, hit enter. And this is gonna give you a Bitcoin cash address, uh, including the prefix. So we're gonna copy this whole thing. We're gonna need this in the next step. And the next step is to add our mining core uh, pool config. So to do that, we're gonna do a sudo nano slash data slash dot uh, mining core slash config.json. And we're gonna scroll down in this file. And we've got, uh, so we've got our uh, digibyte config here. It should be this one here. So we've got our digibyte solo config and then we've got our Bitcoin config and then after our Bitcoin config in here, gonna go ahead and go to that last curly brace before the ending uh, our square array bracket. We're gonna put a comma here and we're going to paste in my template. Let's go ahead and just give that a copy and a paste. All right, and then we need to fill in some information here. So we want to grab that Bitcoin cash address that we copied and here in address, we're going to go ahead and put that in. And you're going to notice we have an additional perimeter here that we typically don't have. And that is address type of Bcash. And this is because we're not using a legacy address, but we're using an actual Bitcoin cash address with that Bitcoin cash prefix. Mining Core is already set up to understand how to handle that prefix and to know that it's a Bitcoin Cash network. We have to do two things. We have to set the coin to Bitcoin hyphen cash, and we want to add this additional address type that says Bcash. And then we can uh, come down here to the address and we can put in our Bitcoin Cash address that we want the reward recipient, so all the pool fees to go to that wallet address. Everything else in here is pretty much identical to Bitcoin. So we've got the uh, block refresh intervals, all of that. You can kind of just leave all these as is. We're going to run this on port 5003. We've got a general ASIC port. We also have port 5103 set up for the nerd miner devices. Uh, if you want to, you know, uh, support nerd miners. And then in our daemon, We've got our local IP address and then port 9003, which is what we set up in that comp file, pool user, pool password. We've got every, and we've got solo uh, for the payout type. So we've got everything kind of set up now. We're going to do control X, Y, enter to save. And I'm just going to hop back on over, check the status. We can see all the headers are synced. It is now syncing up the Bitcoin cash uh, blockchain. So we will let that sink away. But while that's doing that, we want to restart the mining core service. And similar to what I've done in other videos, I'm gonna go ahead and run a pull and then uh, stop and remove the old container, start the new container. This just makes sure if there were any updates to the image that it would apply those. You can see that the image was already up to date haven't been any changes to that. So now it uh, really should show up in the web UI, but we're just going to also run an update on the web UI real quick. Make sure we've got the latest version of the web UI, which we did. So now if we hop on over to our web browser, uh, we can see that it is obviously still syncing Bitcoin Cash. But if we go to the IP of the system, so for us that's 192.168.1.45, let's give this a refresh. And we should see Bitcoin Cash in the list, which we do now. So once the blockchain is synced, 
we will start to see the stats there. We can hop on over and go to getting started and scroll down. And here under the general ASIC port, this is the stratum endpoint that we would connect our ASIC to. And this will allow us to mine and that will solo mine Bitcoin cash and it will hit the pool wallet after 100 confirmations, it will pay out to whatever wallet that you specified in the username field from your ASIC pointing to this. So whatever that mining address is, that will get the payout minus the 1% fee that you configured. Obviously, you can always take this fee down to, you know, like 0.01% if you want. Take it down as low as you want. Just make sure you kind of leave a little bit in there to cover uh, fees to handle the payout. But that's all there is to setting up Bitcoin Cash. Super easy, uh, especially with the you know the use of the Docker containers. They make this seamless, and you should be noticing a pattern here that you know once you get one or two set up, you really kind of understand that the setup of additional pools is super easy to do. And it doesn't take really any time at all, other than waiting for the blockchain to sync, uh, which is kind of what we're waiting on now. So once that's done, I'll be able to run this as a solo pool.